So today I'm going to show you how to program your gate remote control to your Tesla. So you have to have your home link installed. If you haven't installed your home link, I have a link where you can go and watch how to install a home link. So let's get to it. So my gate remote is actually a uh, door king, uh, as you can see, it's a door king. So this is uh, what my gate remote is for my community. So what you need to do is make sure you change the battery, even though it your gate clicker working, uh, make sure you put a brand new battery because um, I tried it before uh, and I was having a hard time um, get it to work so i replace the battery a uh, new battery so it, it's good after that so the reason why you want to change the battery is um, it sends out a lot more stronger signal when you have a better battery um, so so let's see once you have it the home link install right click on the control and what you want to do is you want to go to locks then scroll down Scroll down as you see home link settings. Uh, go to click on home link settings and put a name. I already have programmed gate, so I'm just gonna put gate one. I'm just gonna put gate one and hit enter. So it's if you click tap here, you will see a standard mode and a D mode. So let's stick with the standard mode. Oops, let's go back to standard mode. Then it says we, you're gonna start uh, set mode and then you have this screen. So this screen is, uh, it says um, you need to in front of the gate. You don't need to in front of the gate. You can program this anywhere you want, right? Even if you're garage. Right now I am programming this um, in a parking lot. So I'm just gonna hit start. So I just have to go out. It says um, uh, go outside and you need to click on your uh, uh, remote control button and it will learn it. And it will, what happened is once, once you learn it, the headlight will flash, so once. So it's a learning mode. I have the remote here. I want to touch, actually this is where my, it's installed. I'm gonna do here and I just, touch it and uh, press it and hold maybe uh, release it a couple of times so i think the headlight just flashed let's go back in and check so i'm back to back into my car it says recording complete and just click on continue and uh, now this uh, gate is programmed, just hit save. And once you get this, uh, you have this. I have a gate one, um, I have a gate also is programmed. What you can do is you can set the gate to open when you arrive. So you can actually put whatever the feet you want to uh, set it to. So I just set it to 40 feet or so because um, if I'm driving by my community, I don't want to open the gate. So I want to be closer to the gate. So that's why I put like a 30 or 40 feet. And uh, once once you're at the gate, uh, you could reset this location. Right now I don't have a location set, right? So I'm gonna, once you're there, you could reset the location. So that way, you know, this car knows, okay, you are close to the gate and it will sense out the signal. For now, I'm just going to set this, uncheck it because I don't want to uh, set it open. So, and you have a section here, uh, chime for auto open and close. So what that does is um, every time it sends out a signal, uh, you will get a chime. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to do. So if you go back to your home link up here uh, uh, and settings, you will see all, all the ones you have added. 
so I have already gate there I'm just going to go here and delete that but um, that's it please support by liking sharing and subscribing to